and I want you to look at the, the feet right here. These feet are tough. They're not swollen. There's a little bit of thickening on the, you know, on the plantar surface. Uh, but you don't really see any disease or any problem. It's a little bit red right there, but it's not too bad. I'd say these are pretty normal. Uh, and I want to tell you why this is important in just a minute. Uh, look at this foot too. You know, they look the same. They look symmetrical. Uh, in other words, this foot compared to this foot, claw looks the same and it's symmetrical. So everything's fine on these feet. They're normal, okay? As opposed to Flouse, ladies and gentlemen, it's Flouse. He's been limping and he's been not doing well, okay? <laughs> and so what I want you to look at, there's a bunch of different names for this. The common name is Bumblefoot, okay? And you can see kind of how swollen, irritated, infected, calloused his feet are. And although he's walking around pretty good, it's decreasing his performance, okay? And what I mean by that is, it's just not totally comfortable, okay? And so, more than likely, like if you x-rayed him from a medical perspective, he'd have some arthritis in here. Uh, he'd also have infection, he'd have callus. But, but the big thing is, is it decreases his performance. He doesn't do as well. And Flouse is walking around pretty good, but, you know, it's just not ideal. It's kind of like having an athlete's foot all the time. And so, you know, some of this can be hard, hard to control, and sometimes it depends on the individual animal. More than not, it depends on his lifestyle and where he spends his time uh, and how hygienic the conditions are, okay? You know, unhygienic conditions just put chronic stress, chronic stress and chronic inflammation in his feet. And so a couple of ways, depending on the situation we might handle it, is we may do foot soaks on him, where we put something out where he has to walk through it to eat or something like that. Another way to treat it is we can apply uh, iodine dips uh, directly to the feet. And then occasionally, depending on what kind of pathogen we think it is, we can give him antibiotic injections if he needs them to help. A lot of uh, roosters will, you know, they'll struggle with this for part of their life. So it's, it's a pretty common problem. A lot of them get it. And if they're not too painful, usually they manage to get around pretty well.